What's going on YouTube? It's your man, Flavio Marciano, aka the Flam Guy, aka Flam Guy Gaming. Back at it again on this YouTube ting, bro. Uh, we back on this heavy rain, man. You see it? You saw the title when you clicked on the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? It popped up in your sub box. You know. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and get this game started. Last time we left off, I didn't cheat, bro. I just restarted a chapter because the game hold me, and everybody was saying, "Uh, oh, it's so unsanitary. You used your tongue." Ew, that's disgusting. Like, no, bro. It's my tongue. It's my thumbs. I wash my... I literally gave you guys... If you guys come to my streams, I gave you guys my, my, my body care routine, bro. If you came to my Instagram lives, I gave you guys my hygiene rundown. So I have no problem licking the entire top of my controller if I want to. I'm not catching anything. <sighs> Sorry, I, 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 I got hype, bro. I got hype. I got hype. I got hype. My bad. Where does flam come from? Um, flam comes from, so the word flamboyant means to be like super out there with your personality. You're not afraid to hide anything about you or yourself. Um, part of it, I got from E40 because E40 calls himself Mr. Flamboyant. Muhammad Ali called himself Flamboyant. And Muhammad Ali's from Kentucky, and that's where I'm from. And E40's from the Bay, and that's where I was raised. So I was like, I got to put flamboyant in there somewhere. Flamboyant was kind of long, so I just put flammy. Flammy was super short, straight to the point. Marciano is the last name of my favorite boxer, Rocky Marciano, who's arguably the greatest of all time, even over Ali, just because of his record alone, but no one talks about him. So I feel like my talent is so dope and so fire, but no one really talks about it. So I smacked Marciano on the end of Flammy, and Flammy Marciano was born. <sighs> <laughs> Baby mama. <laughs> Rock and roll. What's going on, bruv? Sugar mama. Yeah, sugar mama's a good one. Facts. Facts. Alright, let's get into it. Why is that song stuck in my head, bro? Uh, I haven't eaten today either. Uh, all right, Seth, it's all good, bro. Am I dead? Oh my god! I did all that just to die, bro. What? Hey, for anybody that's played this game, am I almost done? Remember, like, I was doing the electricity thing, and I guess I got shocked so much? I don't know. I ain't gonna lie, she got some strong-ass quads. You guys know, you guys know you're like an extra 10, 15 pounds heavier when, you're, when your body is like limp? When your muscles are relaxed. EMT, you should know that. You're like a medic, aren't you? No, no I'm not. Golly. Ethan, Jesus. Can you hear me? She over here stroking this dude's hair and stuff. Tell me. Why is it shaking? Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Oh, she's gonna think I'm the origami killer. Let me stop being nosy. Thirty inches of rain per hour. <laughs> what? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Can I reach up in here again or nah? Okay. None of that. Help him. Okay. Just making sure, make sure I ain't miss nothing. Bro, she trying to cuddle up with a dead man. Your arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. You'll know? Okay. Okay, I'm on the third trial out of five. Bet. Are those burn marks on your chest? I'm gonna have to get 
get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Bro, I'm sorry. This just doesn't happen in real life. No one is going to take care of somebody who's bloody, beaten up, battered, like, randomly. Like, you don't know what this man, what happened to the... God dang. My chest looks like a Tostino's pizza roll. That's just, just weird to me. I don't know. Fever. You've got a hell of a fever. <laughs> it's lies. Lies. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Okay, so you got burns and you got a fever. So we got to get the fever medicine and then we got to get the burn ointment. Oh, dang, she went straight for it. She grabbed a whole pharmacy. Yeah, if it's something, you call 911. I'm not a doctor, but I'll do what I can. Nah, she doesn't know. Um, so first, ENT, what do we use? We use ointment, right? Ointment first, I'm guessing. Or does, it, or does order matter? Because we got to go ointment before we put the bandages on, right? Um, there we go. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought I was supposed to stop. I'll take it easy. Uh, this game is so just... The controls are like wishy-washy, bro. Bro, this looks weird, bro. I'm watching another man get his nipple caressed. That should ease the pain. All right, next up. Disinfect. Okay, my bad. My bad. I went ointment first. I went ointment first. My bad. All right, we'll disinfect now. Okay, disinfect on the arm. Ooh, we. Ooh. Well, this makes me want to play Surgeon Simulator or whatever it's called. I guess the order doesn't matter, but I'm guessing if I do it in the right order, they give me like a bonus or something. Like I get a free mishap on like a, a button thing. All right, then we're going to go bandages. Then we're going to cap it off with some medicine, man. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Boom. There we go. Got your bandaged up. You need one of them Alva Kamara turf tape strips. All right. Go ahead, sit up. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Bro. Okay, there we go. And then I got a tap triangle. Bro, these combos be messing me up, man. All right, there we go, baby. There we go. Let me, let mama stitch you up, baby. Let mama wrap your bandages up, baby. There we go. Go ahead, lay back a little bit. Let me uh, bandage you up, right? You know, remember you gotta you gotta change your bandages by every couple of hours, baby. You're not gonna do. feel good. I don't know why I turned into Big Mama all of a sudden. Ethan? Whoa, DJ Reed. What's up, big bro? He's unconscious. Lexi and what the follow? Bro, no, we'll what? That's love, up. man. What's up, big bro? What's up with you, big, bigger bro? <laughs> bigger bro. So I ain't got to give him medicine? Uh-oh, he having a crack attack. Crack attack. I'm sorry, bro. This is just, this is kind of unsettling. She's taking care of this man she doesn't know. All these wounds, like, 
this man could be a whole drug dealer who just survived a shootout or something. Like, why does she feel like she owes him her her life? I love Big Mama's house. Yeah, this is this is weird. I don't know. That's like I, I gotta see. I gotta. I gotta see how this ties into whatever. How do you feel? Maybe it ties into the story. He looks like Captain America before I've the superhero better. serum. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? Exactly. You don't even know me. <sighs> Memory. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. Okay, that kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. I can see that. I can see that. What are you talking about, Sigourney Weaver? You said you were here yeah, I can see that. You're an insomniac? Tell the truth. Be honest. Because if you lie, you belong to the streets. I, um... I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, It's not easy. Problems, explanations, danger... You, um... You got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. Just apologize. Keep it moving. I'm sorry. I shouldn't yeah, be just asking keep it questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. I feel like she's a cop, bro. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Dang. Take care. Bro, you know it's real when someone uses a Drake album title on you. If you ever get in an argument with somebody and they go, nothing was the same. Or the, at the end of the argument they go, take care or, or they'd be like you're just so far gone i don't know your views on things like any drake album in an argument bro it hits you deep it hits you real deep more life i don't know what you would use scorpion for a sacrifice bro who is this ninja man <laughs> I'll just be chilling. I'll just be chilling. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed oh, nobody. Oh, here Why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. That bastard was a perfect fit. He really wasn't. He really wasn't. I don't know what you're talking about, Blake. Ash? <laughs> he said we all use the parole okay. officer excuse. <laughs> Sean Moss's mother is here. Oh, She'd like man. to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it 
doesn't really help. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim uh -oh. of the Oregon. So she might know who this is. Trying to put on the shades, detective. I'm police lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about it. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. He's right. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Now I must ask you to leave. Ah, <sighs> here we go. For your own sake. This is the Nathaniel fight all over again, bruh. Sean Mars' life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's no. I am going to call the police. No, I don't want to leave. Complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. Oh, well. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know, or I am really going to lose my temper. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Back off, Jake. Let go. This guy knows something, and I'm not you leaving are... here until he tells you me what it no is. You have no right. <laughs> I look, you want to punch this guy in the face. The doctor? Oh, snap. Never mind. He's doing it for me. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking Bro, Blake, this this Bro, chill out, bro. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid! I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're going to stop this shit right now. Hold on, bro. You're not finna just shoulder bump me, bro. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Whoa, why were you pro- Am I the killer? Am I the killer? Whoa. Hey, let's go. I got a good cop. That's lit. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass. So that Wait. if he moves, we know about it. Yes. I can't Mars be the killer. The origami killer. I'm so confused, bro. I can't be killer, bro. That just doesn't make any sense. Yes, sir. It's the asthmatic Avenger, bro. My guy. Detective Shelbster. Young homie. Bro, I want to go to a golfing range, bro. I haven't been to a golfing range in so long. What's the what's the name of that one place? Is it Top Golf? Never been there before. I want to go. Yes, sir. We about to threaten. We about to hang this man over the cliff. Look at Shelby. He's fed up, bro. Shelby got a bandaid all over his eye. Ugh. I see y'all trying to get freaky deaky. I'm not trying to kill game or anything. 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Guy. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. I'm, I'm taking off my jacket because I want to, not because you told me to. Just, just know that. Just know that. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Uh, look at this form, bro. The asthmatic Shelby Woods. Bow! Oh, wait, what? Okay, so I have to hold on to that? Bro, that's stupid. Alright, let me try it again. They over here disrespecting my stroke, bro. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder. Strike it a little harder? Let me see what you got, your old ass. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Well, are they going to talk or are they just going to let me swing, bro? What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm sorry. This is just... I don't have the patience for some of this, bro. The meanest stroke in the game, boy. Pause, 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 pause. pause. My son had talking about golf, bro. We're talking about golf here. Grow up. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. <laughs> okay. You have no business investigating my son. I told you he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer. It's up to me to decide who I want. Bro, to I said, I said, pause, bro. I said, oh god, I just see Anna's name. I didn't read what she said. I'm not going to. Talking about golf. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'd probably take the money. I don't think his son. I don't think his son has anything to do with it. If you do, you'll regret it. I honestly don't think his son has anything to do with it. It doesn't make any sense. Have a nice he doesn't have a motive. He has a father in his life. He has money, he has parties and houses and cars, everything he needs. I don't see him even having the time to come up with an elaborate trap to drown kids in, bro. Like, that's wild. Keyway, this your birthday? You already know what we're doing after this, bro. Keyway, don't go anywhere, bro. Crazy ones don't require motives? Not necessarily. Everyone has a motive, bro. Everybody has a motive. Jeffrey Dahmer, he was super smart. But he had a motive. Um, who else? Bundy? 
narcissistic guys, you know. Charles Manson. I feel like they couldn't be touched. Zodiac Killer, like the like the challenge. They all have motives, bro. Bro. So this killer just has all these is that a snake, bro? Oh, these are toys. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Porcelain How to lizards. The rest huh? of this old beat up stuff. That sounds like a nasty like a nasty word for uh, an, an unmentionable organ. A porcelain lizard, bro? That just sounds disgusting. I don't know how I'll be pausing, bro. I don't even hit like the pause button. Oh wait, do I break it? Am I supposed to break it? Oh, I'm supposed to break it. Okay, my bad. Okay, nothing in there. Bro, I'm not even pressing pause, bro. I'm holding the handles and shaking it, and it's still pausing the screen, which is crazy. Bingo, bango, bongo. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. So I ain't got to pick none of these up. Ain't no totems. All right, let's go. Oh, school, what's going on, man? Bro, you came in with the sub. Had to re up on my inhaler. <laughs> That's love, bro. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. So the killer said I have to sacrifice something. What was he talking about? Like, what do I have to sacrifice? I hope you're not talking about my wife, bro. Oh God, it's a video in the middle of an abandoned apartment building. There's just gonna be nothing good on this video. Nothing good is gonna be on this video, bro. I'm already knowing. <sighs> Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. This is really Jigsaw! I have to go through with it. This is no really Jigsaw! Bro, that, that's not even sanitized! What? They ain't got no alcohol in here? Oh man, hold on. How much time do I have left? I have 4.45. No, I don't want to bash it. I don't want to bash it. I can't bash it. What are you looking at the stove for? What are you looking at that for? No, no. I don't like what you're doing. Bro! Dude! Can I sit and ponder? What is this? A saw? Nah, bro. Chat, what do we do? What do we do? I think I think we gotta use the butcher knife. Ah, we got 4:30 left. I think we gotta use the butcher knife, bro. I think the butcher knife is the wave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that alcohol? Yeah, good, 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 good. We need that. Oh no, 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 no! Take it, take it, take it, take it, bro. We need that. Okay, grab that, and then. Um, oh God. I got to, bro. It's just, it's just one section, right? The, the top section. That's all he said. Can I take it out? Okay, put that down. And we're gonna come here with it. Oh, okay. I feel like this one's gonna be straight and clean through because it's like a machete. You can kind of just chop at it. You feel me? Oh, God. 
Is this alcohol? It's alcohol, right? Do I dip my finger in there? Or? Ooh wee! Ooh, how much time we got left? How much time we got left? How much time? Three minutes. Okay. Uh, there's no other way. Like, I can't like Photoshop, bro. I'm not, this tablet in front of me don't got Photoshop on it, bro. Ah! music oh god uh, just do it just do it just do it just do it ah uh, oh god oh lord oh my jesus Bro, we had to, bro. Ethan, we had to. Ethan, Ethan, don't get mad at me, God. Ooh. 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 It, you didn't cut the whole pinky off, did you? He just said the top section. Oh, there was a hatchet behind us. Under the desk? What's... Bro, what? What's under the desk? Oh man. <sighs> okay, bro, so you could just punch like the Hulk through wood after all this after all this you've been through. Oh man. Oh boy. Okay, so his other four fingers are still there. Bro, my guy has like not a lot of time left, bro. I could have did it without cutting my finger, bro. Bro, I just hope I don't need my pinky in the future, like in the game. Like if I'm hanging off of a cliff or something, and the only all the strength I need isn't like if I had a pinky, I'd be able to hold on longer or something. Oh, oh, I thought you meant for real. Nah, bro, I didn't want to take no chances. Bro, I didn't see the axe behind us. I keep forgetting to press L1 to, like, change the whoop-wop. 